Oh, welcome everybody to our Christmas Day celebration. You're like, wait a minute. It's January the 3rd. Some of y'all have put your Christmas trees away. I can't believe you did that. It's still Christmas. And so I'm celebrating today for it's Christmas Day, Tuesday, January the 3rd. And I hope that you will celebrate with me. We're just doing a very brief devotional for you tonight. We're going to sing a couple of songs and read a gospel lesson. And I hope you are going forth from this place blessed by God's presence. And so we begin today. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us sing together our opening song of the day. lesson for today is found in the book of Matthew, the second chapter. You've, if you joined us this last Sunday, you heard a word about the innocence, the slaying of the innocence, the holy innocence, how Herod sent and killed 
the babies in Bethlehem because he was so greedy for power. So hear this lesson. It's tragic and devastating. When Herod saw that he'd been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated. So he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years of age or younger, according to the time they had learned about the coming of the wise men. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing in loud lamentations, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because there are no more. Oh, what a tough lesson. This is a harsh lesson. And we kind of sometimes go through it and we read through it and don't think a whole lot about it. We know that at least Joseph and his family were warned in a dream to flee to Egypt and were spared the murder of their baby, Jesus, at the hands of this madman, Herod, who was only concerned about his position and power. Certainly, he paid lip service to the Messiah and to God, God's coming. He had been through this wondrous building project, creating the temple, recreating the temple in Jerusalem. It was all scam to get people to pat him on the back. Way to go, Herod. He really had no deep and abiding relationship with God. Otherwise, he truly would have come and paid homage to this Jesus. But here's the tragedy I want you to struggle with. What about the innocents that were slain? This is a cruel story. A story about little children being murdered by a madman. You know, there are certain movies and books that my wife won't read anything where harm comes to children. Forget about it. So like The Hunger Games, maybe you've read the books or maybe you've seen the movies. She will not watch those movies. She will not read those books. Because you see, children are defenseless, innocent. Why would God allow this to take place? But you have to remember, who is it that did this and perpetrated this evil upon them? The madman, Herod. We still have to remember, though we are in the presence of Christ every day of our lives, we are still awaiting the return. We still live on this side of that return of Christ. We're on the right side of his birth, his death, his resurrection. We are still on the bad side of his return again. What does that mean? That means that bad things happen and evil people can often have sway over the circumstances of our life. Bad things happen all the time. And it's a heartache. What God wants to remind us of is this is the reason why Jesus came. To free us from the greed and the selfishness of those who would seek power. Even to the point of oppressing and murdering the innocent babies of Bethlehem. God did not forget that. They're in his presence and his care this day. Time moves on, and it can be often very cruel. But the good news is, is that God has not forgotten us. No matter the evil intent of those around us, no matter the crazy Herods of this life, we know that we are always secure in God's care. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, there are madmen running in this world who would destroy and slaughter the innocents. We know this is taking place every day right now in Ukraine. There's a madman killing innocent people, innocent children, who are caught in the crossfire of greed and selfishness and power and control. This has been the story of this world. we too may find ourselves in the crossfire of those greedy who want to seek power and care more about their own position than the, uh, those around them. 
We pray for a reconciling love to win them over. We pray for your peace to crash into this world and for it to reign once again in our hearts. Because it is in the coming of Jesus Christ that the world can at least begin to be transformed. And we yearn for that day when war will be no more. And we give thanks, for it is only through Jesus Christ that this may take place. For it is in his name we pray. Amen. Let us sing our, <clears throat> pardon me, sing our closing song of the day. Continue to celebrate Christmas and have a blessed New Year. Amen.